Hello fellow peasants. So I, uh, I have reviewed all the Indiana Jones films. Um, now it's time to rank them. If you haven't seen my reviews, go check out my reviews for the previous uh, four films and the new film, Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny. I just put out the reviews for those the last few days. So let's get into the countdown here. Number five is Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. I think this film is not as bad as everyone says it is, but I only really enjoy the first half of the film. The first half of the film feels very classic indie. You have the scenes at the university, you have the opening scene uh, in the warehouse, which is great, lots of action. Um, very uh, well-written, great action throughout the first half of the film. Um, it feels like the, the character's progressing. And then once you get off into the jungle and start uh, fighting the, the Russians and all that, it really just takes a nosedive into like a really uh, Disney childlike uh, action film. It's a lot of CGI, a lot of green screen, and I don't really enjoy the film after the second half as much. And it's not horrible, but it really drops off uh, from what the first half of the film is. So that's number five. Number four on my list is Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. Uh, a lot of people love this film. Some, some people, this is their favorite Indiana Jones. It's not mine, mostly because I get tired of the uh, being in the cave with the voodoo Satan worshipers and stuff. That goes on way too long before the cart chase scene and getting outside to the bridge. Um, I really like the part where, you know, I like the opening scene. I like the scene where they jump out of the plane. I like the scene when they get to the village. I like the scene where they're eating at the palace. I like the dialogue back and forth between Indiana Jones and the blonde chick and all that. All that's good up until the point they get to that real big room with all the voodoo shit going on. And it's okay for a minute. And then after a while, it just keeps going and going and going. And uh, it gets really tiresome and bored. Uh, boring to me. I, I I don't care for it. So Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom is my fourth favorite Indiana Jones film. Number three in this list is Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny. Yes, I do like it more than Temple of Doom. Uh, I found this movie to be uh, engaging. I think the story was nice. I think it was uh, not shot very well. Um, but I do think that it was an entertaining film. It gave you some old school Indiana Jones vibes. I think it fits nicely in the top three uh, for this franchise, in my opinion. The opening scene with the train, uh, I didn't mind the de-aging in this. I felt it, it did, it looked really good in my opinion. In most, in most cases, there were a, a few spots that it didn't look that great, but overall the opening scene uh, really helps push uh, this movie higher up in this list and as and as well as the third act. I really enjoyed the third act. I like the time travel aspect of the film. I like them going back to Roman times. Um, I honestly wish that Indy would have died and stayed in Roman times. I think that would have been fitting for the character as opposed to just going back to the 1960s where his son's dead and his wife fucking hates him. <laughs> but you know, uh, I still really like the ending, and the ending with Marion is still nice. It's it's a cute ending, but um, yeah, overall, I don't think it deserves the hate that it gets. Um, I think it will, over time, gain more uh, sympathy or more love, uh, kind of like how Kingdom of the Crystal Skull is now. You see a lot of videos on YouTube now, people saying, oh, you know what? It really ain't that bad looking back at it. It's not a complete total dumpster fire. <laughs> You know, and I think Dial of the, the Dial of Destiny will have a similar um, reaction in the future. And Dial of Destiny has an 89% right now on Rotten Tomatoes. Regular people love it. Critics and YouTube grifters who want to hate wokeness all the time, they're the ones who uh, are really bashing this film. The average audience goer on Rotten Tomatoes is giving this an 89%. It has 89% for regular people who don't care about stupid woke bullshit. Uh, number two in my list is Raiders of the Lost Ark. Yes, it came in second. Uh, movie comes in second because 
I feel some of the chase scenes go on way too long. And um, I, I don't know, guys. Like, I, uh, I don't find this film to be that endearing. Um, I do like the opening act. You know, I like the opening act where he's getting the idol. I also like the uh, university atmosphere in this film. I like the explanation of the arc when he's explaining that you know he's giving all this background and where he's going and why he's going and blah 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 you know um the raiders of the lost ark uh is very good the setup is really nice it just gets a little dull uh during the middle and end uh there's just some really slow parts for me where i just don't care it just feels like it's they move from place to place and uh and it all looks the same to me. Um, it just gets a little boring to me in some spots. But, hey, what is what it is. And number one is Indiana Jones and The Last Crusade. Uh, the Last Crusade is awesome. Once again, uh, Sean Connery plays Indiana Jones' father. There's a nice uh, relationship there with the characters. Uh, I like the traveling around. They go from place to place to place. I don't. The pacing is excellent in this film. I don't feel that. Uh, I, don't, I don't really get bored. The only time I get bored in this film is during the tank scene at the end. I feel that goes on too long. But overall, I really love the storytelling in this. The cinematography is fantastic. I love the locations. You really feel you're traveling with the characters in this film, and it's one of the best adventure films I've seen. Um, and it's the only Indiana Jones film that I really would want to watch multiple times over and over again other than this film i really can't say i want to watch these movies more than a few times every 10 years uh, i'm not a huge indiana jones fan but this film uh really strikes a chord with me i really like it i appreciate it and uh, that's about it guys uh so this is it this is the end of my videos for indiana jones i don't think i'll be doing any more indiana jones content on this channel unless something wild pops up maybe i'll do like a 4k uh transfer review for when the uh full 4k collection comes out with all five films or something like that uh but that, that'll probably be it other than that guys have a good day peasants peace out bye bye